I am the Ibrahim Hassan. We also know we swear that the evidence that we shall give before this committee and the respect of the matter before the committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I do not ask. The governor is appearing in the Senate as a result of a summons. We must first deal with that before we go to the tabling of uh, management uh, responses and supporting Alexis. The governor of Isiolo has been compelled to appear before the Senate by way of summons. That is a power that is granted to the Senate and its committees by the Constitution. The, the summons arose as a result of a fruitless visit that the Senate uh, paid to Isiolo County, where the Senate was supposed to prosecute the agenda that it is prosecuting today. To put all this in context, I will request the clerk of the committee just to take us through the chronology of events leading to the ill-fated uh, Isiolo visit and leading to today's meeting so that we understand uh, what has been going on and then uh, we will have to um, have some conversation as a committee and hear from the governor before we give directions on how to proceed. This committee has invited the governor of Isiolo five times and each occasion the governor has found a reason not to appear before this committee. And it is for that reason that we issued summons to compel the appearance of Governor Guyo before the Senate. Now, members, this is unprecedented. I don't think there is a, a county which has defied or which has uh, uh, generated reasons for an appearance uh, more than Isiolo. The narration that the clerk has read begins on the 22nd of February 2023. We are now in end of April 2024. So for one full year, it has been a back and forth with Siolo County. Members, we have deliberated on the concept of content of argument and what repercussions should be for those who seem to take a contentious view of parliament and its committees. It is for that reason that the House recently gave stronger uh, effect to the Powers and Privileges Act, so that those who uh, undertake activities that appear to be contentious of parliament uh, can feel the pain through enhanced fines, and I think there's a conversation that is going on where we need to frame the offences because contempt of parliament is an offence under the Parliamentary Powers and Privileges Act. We did the summons, and it would appear that that is the reason why the governor is here. But while we were in Isiolo, we also deliberated on the issue of fines that is provided for under the Parliamentary Powers and Privileges Act. And the Act says, where a person summoned does not appear, or where a person summoned does not satisfy the committee uh, as to the cause of their non-appearance, the committee might impose such a fine and, and, and the fines are uh, clearly spelled out in the Parliamentary Powers and Privileges Act. We consulted the legal department and they have advised that in as much as we have the power to issue fines, and the fines should be deterrent, the fines should also go towards underwriting some of the expenses that the committee has incurred to come to Siona and then not find the governor. Before we get there, we must first allow the governor to explain why he was not present when the committee had communicated in very good time that we would be visiting this year. So I think at this point, I'm going to give the governor an opportunity to explain 
Why, for five invitations, he has not found it fit, and he has not seen it as a priority to honor the invitation of the Senate. Secondly, Governor, you must explain to the Senate why on the 8th of March 2024, when the committee visited Isiono for purposes of considering these reports and with the inspection of projects, you chose not to be present, and it was not only the governor, the entire county executive was absent, with the exception of the CC for Health, whom we stumbled upon when we went to visit the Mochain. And thirdly, in litigation, explain why this committee should not impose the maximum fine that is provided for in the parliamentary powers of the United States. Governor, deal with those three issues. Yeah, man. First, I want to thank this committee for the amabilinity uh, of acceding to many of my requests, which I requested the Senate Committee to reject me uh, the invite to the Senate. Chair, on 8th, when the committee was uh, visiting Isiolo, yeah, I was outside Isiolo. I asked for the committee to schedule the meeting, but uh, when the decline came, I was already out of uh, this room here, and I could have not met into the meeting with the Senate and the Israel County. And also, my county executive, by Numasa, said for a few individuals, including the deputy governor who was uh, on the site, he tried to join the Senate, but uh, unfortunately, he wasn't given uh, the list of the call centers were already angry with me. Uh, Chair, as you know, I was a legislator before. I was an MCA in Nairobi for 10 years, as my good friend Senator Sibuna said. I have tremendous respect for the Senate as an institution. I know I'm accountable to the Senate. All the institutions which are, which are mandated by the Constitution, including the COP, the Auditor General, the Investigative Arms of the Government, the ESC, and this year, I know I'm accountable to all of them. Senator, as an MCA, I was a minority leader like them and also as a majority leader. I know the importance of this house, and I cannot be contemptuous for this house, Senator. I want to take this chance, Chairman, to apologize for, for the mistake <laughs> which made Senator us to be angry with me. I'm going to that, Senator. I will not miss any invite uh, uh, from the Senate. Uh, Senator Jaka asked if I was protecting anyone. Said I'm not protecting anyone. I know the review, the review which is uh, being reviewed by the Senate here is the year 2019 2020. But you know, the government is perpetual, and as a governor, I'm answer as a good fit. Thank you, Chair. I'm not properly seized of the context okay. and the content of uh, those allegations, but uh, Senator Skruna, you are talking about disparaging comments. Uh, which then would, see, would seem to be very much at odd with this apologetic demeanor today. Yes, it's, right. it's as if that was Buyo and this, this is uh, Abdi, yes. Abdi Ibrahim Hassan. Yes. Are, you, are you three personalities? Because you have said you are even called Bayone. So, did you make those utterances as Buyo or as Governor Abdi Hassan Ibrahim? Chair. Yeah. The other others were unfortunate, and that's the reason why I for yourself. And humbly apologize to the committee, and I can assure you going forward, I'll work very closely with the SIPA committee and the Senate of Lunch. Thank you, sir. The delegation that came to this was not just the Senate. We had the Treasury, we had the OAG, we had uh, representatives from public works, from Ministry of Health, COB. It was a huge delegation. And I think uh, that is not an expense that uh, should uh, uh, go unaddressed. But before we get to that, uh, let me ask the Senator of Mr. Hall if she has something to say. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I welcome the team from uh, Mr. I want to beg, or maybe to hear from the Herman and his team, uh, a concern that is affecting my position as Senator of uh, I know very well 
the role of the Senate President is to carry out the oversight. But I'm facing a lot of challenge as a Senate President. And that is why those name callings, more specifically, was coming to me. And I want to ask uh, the governor, before this committee, whether my role as a senator for Israel is causing challenge for his work. That is number one, because he has said in public that I'm undermining, undermining his operation as a government. Number two, there is a lot of name calling against me that I should not carry out oversight. And this is why I am actually elected as Senator for Israel. So I want you to tell this committee, or rather to tell this your account, I'm sure this is like, that I have a right to carry out oversight in this yellow. I have authority to ask questions to any officer within his executive. I have a right to ask a question or any document or any evidence at the assembly. And thank you. We have seen unnecessary hostility towards Senator when they are doing the jobs. And uh, this is a concern not just for the Senator of Sion, but for all of us. Uh, I have personally, uh, sometimes, Governor, I go to county health facilities to see if there are drugs there. And you find uh, people have organized uh, women to sing out there songs disparaging the Senator. Uh, what you need to do, especially for Senator Dulu, uh, is to assure her that you don't have a problem with the job that she does. And you see, these things might be taken very lightly, but uh, in fact, Senator Dulu has privately shared that uh, she is actually afraid for her life because of uh, the job that she does. Governor, as a leader in this job, as a leader in this country, it is your responsibility not to exacerbate uh, the feelings of your supporters who might not understand the role of the Senate. You have been a legislator yourself. You used to oversight the uh, government's so very well yet. I don't remember him uh, organizing wounds, uh, although he was, uh, I don't know what, how to do it. He, he never organized wounds against you or all the way to, to stop you from doing the work. So I think the assurance, uh, we like the tone that you have begun with. Uh, the assurance that we want, and uh, Senator Duro has invited you to take advantage of uh, the national media, the people who are watching from the show, to guarantee that you don't have a problem with Senate doing his job or Senator Fatuma Duro doing her job. In fact, you should be facilitating the Senate to be able to know the programs in your county. She is supposed to be the biggest ambassador for his show. I don't understand, Chair, why governors don't understand that we are actually their biggest uh, ambassadors in Nairobi. I should be able to stand and say, my governor is doing this like this morning. Uh, the governor of Nairobi has taken time to sit all of us as members of parliament in Nairobi to explain to us the disaster response his government has put in place so that I can also explain to the people, yes, he has done this, he has done that, these are the shortfalls. Why is there... Why doesn't that relationship exist in Seoul? Why should the Senator Duro feel like she's an enemy if uh, she's doing her job? So please address those concerns. On the ground, we actually um, uh, <coughs> agreed or resolved as a committee that we are going to summon him and we, also, we have also charged him. That was delayed if I'm not wrong, by the legal department of the Senate. Because they say the fine will come when he appears. So for me, the fine still stands. If we really feel that uh, uh, the reasoning he has given is not convincing. So personally, I, I want to say that this committee has already made a resolution to find the governor. I want the people of Kenya to know who is standing for the Constitution, with the Constitution, 
for accountability with transparency and standing with the people of the sea or not. What I did was to put a question. I did not say that that is my decision. I put the question. I have listened to members. The majority of the members feel that that content cannot be purged by a simple apology. And that is why we have those provisions in the Parliamentary Courts and Privileges Act. I just want to encourage members, I have heard you, and the views of the majority, even if you don't count the chair, points toward purging that content through the way of a family. Even in high school, if you are caught smoking, the way Senator Sifuna was always being caught, then you say that now you have apologized, you'll be taken back to class. It does not work like that. Viboko utapewa, suspension, pia utapewa. The apology was not about the non-appearance in Isiono. The apology was for the comments that were made out there. To purge the non-appearance in Isiono, what the governor must then demonstrate is, I traveled, this is my travel documents, this is my passport, this is the invitation to the meeting that I've gone for. There has to be something before us. There is absolutely nothing. What the governor said is that he apologizes, going by the majority views of the committee. Because the act says the committee may, not the chair may, the committee may impose such a fine. I will go with the majority views of the committee that the committee imposes a fine on governor will to purge that content up to the maximum of 500,000. Fortunately, he has come before it has been enhanced to 2 million. And I think that then is the resolution of the committee that from the conversation we have had, the minority have had their say, the majority have had their way. Clark, you will proceed to communicate that formally and give the governor uh, the requisite time frame for settlement of that file.